Hi everyone, it's Sue Ralph here with Birdcage Craft Studio and I'm back today with my crafting tip number 54 um, and today we're going to look at uh, an, an alternative to a Christmas tree decoration. Uh, last weekend I showed you how to make one of these baubles and um, today what I've done is I've split the bauble in half and we're going to make one of these which is just a half a one and then it's got a sentiment on the back and you can write a message. So I've done two, two different colours, but I'm going to go on and make um, a slightly different one. So what you need is you need two pieces of cardstock cut into circles. And what I've done is I've used um, one of my spell binders and they literally, the size just fits over the bauble. Okay, so you need two pieces of cardstock and then you'll need some very thin card and you need to cut out three of those same size circles and then you need to have a backing piece and I've again used my spell binders and that will just fit in there and that's going to be on the back of the bauble with the sentiment. Okay, so this is what we do. So I needed to colour three, the three pieces of paper and what I've done, I've used my dust brush and my inks and I've done the back in one as well. So I've got the, the sky and the grass and then I've done um, some stamping and I've actually ripped those out of paper and I'll show you how to do that with the reindeer I'm going to do. So what you want to do is you want to take a piece of paper and this is the same for the reindeer and the trees. So you want a piece of paper and you want to pick up some of your dye and I've got, um, sorry, the ink and I've got a light blue here. So I'm just going to cover my piece of paper all over with the light blue just to take away that whiteness and to sort of try and get a sky-like look to it. So I've got my light blue down and then I'm just going to bring in a slightly deeper blue, just a little. And just go around the outsides. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in my reindeer. Now what you want to do is you want to do your trees and your reindeer but sort of put them on your base plate that you've done. Line it all up as to where you want them to fit. Okay so what I want to try and do is to get them overlapping and then with the reindeer you want to judge where you're going to stamp it. So I want the base of this white one to cover so I want the reindeer just around about here so towards the side so I'm going to get my brown marker and I'm just going to rub all over the reindeer just very quickly and give it a huff and I'm going to stamp towards the end just like so Okay, and then I'm going to use my thumb and my um, other hand. With this, with my right hand, I'm just going to rip and I'm using my left thumb as a guide to just sort of rip around so I don't go too far. And I'm just going to take away the excess paper from the reindeer and just go all the way around it, just ripping it. And it just gives you that nice sort of ripped edge. And it's just a different look really. You could do it with scissors if you don't like this look. It's absolutely fine. So I'm taking that away, take just a little bit more and then just place that so that you can see if you've got enough. So I can see that I need to take a little bit more off there. So I'm just going to pull along again. And just have a look. Yep, I think that's more or less it. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in um, some green on my brush. And I'm going to put a little bit of green just down on the grass area. So I'm going to use another piece of paper just to cover up where the sky should be because we don't want the sky in the way there. And I'm going to use a ripped edge to make it sort of look a little bit more natural like grass. And then just bring some green in. It also covers up those ripped edges that you've got. There we go. And then just go back in with a little bit more glue, just where the, the, um, the sky is, just to get rid of those white edges. Okay. Just 
so I've got all those three pieces and then on my base I'm just going to put a couple of stars in just on the background and if you've got the time you can always do this with embossing powders they stand out a little bit more okay so there's that and then I'm going to bring in my pin flare glue and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this to give a little bit of dimension so I'm going to put some on the very back of my first tree which is slightly bigger and I'm just going to make sure that I'm going to put it all the way around the edge of the bottom of the tree so that it sticks sticks nicely in place I'll just show you that can you see I've just put glue all around the edge and then I'm going to pop that onto my base like so stick that down making sure that you don't overlap go past your base circle because otherwise it's not going to um, fit very well and it will show through okay and then I'm going to put some glue again on the other tree put that in place just going to overlap just like so okay and then my reindeer do exactly the same make sure that I get glue all the way around the, the, the end of the circle so it sticks down nicely and then just a little bit of glue to raise it up and now pop that on over the, the other two and just stick that in place for just a second or hold it there we go and then you've got like a 3D scene there we go and then what you can do is you can add a little a couple of diamonds um, over the stars just to give it a little bit of a twinkle I'm just going to put a couple on there And then what you need to do then is come back with your pin flare and you want to put the, oh, that one hasn't stuck, let's try another one. Let's pop that one there. Well, if you heard that, that's the cat, he's giving himself a scratch. Okay, so I'll pop those in. And then you want to put some pin flare all the way around the edge just like that and that's going to help to stick it down okay and this is the mucky bit but it will work because um, when you put the dome on pin flare glue is really good but you do need to leave it for a couple of hours to dry out thoroughly As I said, this bit can get a bit messy. If you've got uh, the pin flare with a little syringe, then obviously you can just then put the glue with the syringe all around the side, which is a lot easier. And if you want to, you can put some glue down with some dazzling diamonds just to give it a snowy effect. That's entirely up to you. After this stage, um, you just need to press your dome onto that glue so it catches, because that paper circle is just slightly larger there we go just make sure it catches all the way around and then bring in your base that you cut out and I've stamped a sentiment on the white piece so what I'm going to do I'm just going to use just a little bit of Tombow just to stick my sentiment into the middle like so Making sure that that's straight, okay, like that. And then I'm going to put some more Tombow on the back of it, okay. And then I'm going to stick my ornament over the top. Now I suggest what you do once you've lined all of that up, just press down and hold for a few minutes. But I would leave this to dry now for at least two to three hours. I wouldn't even touch it. And then once that's dry, you can then come back in with your uh, your ribbon and attach it and another thing that I've done I don't know if the camera will pick this up I've actually gone around the side with dazzling diamonds just to cover up any glue that has actually come out but it also just gives it a nice finish to it 
So I hope you've enjoyed that tip and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.